The COVID-19 pandemic has provided the Los Angeles City Fire Department an opportunity to leverage and utilize technology in our fire prevention and fire suppression efforts. This is especially true for our brush clearance program. I'm proud to announce that for the first time, we're integrating the unmanned aerial system, or drones, to support the program as part of our annual residential brush inspections. The unmanned aerial system teams are being used to augment brush inspections, not replace them. With over 140,000 parcels throughout the city, and because of changes we have been forced to make due to COVID-19, using this technology helps keep our inspectors safe as they adhere to social distancing while increasing efficiencies of our inspections and meeting our mission. This year's brush clearance season, the Los Angeles City Fire Department has a new tool in its inventory. It's innovative, it's creative, and it's efficient. The LAFD's Brush Clearance Unit, or BCU, started using the Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, or UAVs, to aid fire inspectors in conducting and recording brush inspections of government-owned properties last year. Earlier this month, the Board of Fire Commissioners approved the use of UAVs for brush inspections in residential areas in the very high fire hazard severity zone. This is really about defensible space. The brush clearance unit is here to identify those areas within either par private parcels or government-owned parcels where we need to create that defensible space in case of a brush fire. Here's how the program works. The UAV pilot will go to a residential area and fly a predetermined flight path, taking every precaution necessary to avoid privacy violations. First and foremost, the LA Fire Department's UAS program was designed around addressing privacy and certainly public confidence. How we address it is dealing with um, uh, the flight planning piece of it. So we identify the specific area that we're going to, we pre-flight and mitigate that risk. And then we communicate through either the brush clearance unit or the public information officer as far as how we're doing that and we're transparent with the public so that they can see what our operations are. That the uh, inspectors would utilize this tool uh, to uh, help access or view the parcels that are in terrain that are hard to access, whether they be landlocked or whether the parcels would be behind walls or canyons or, or places that are, have access difficulties. After the flight, a BCU inspector reviews the footage. If the property was cleared, a cleared by owner or CBO will be recorded. If the images show the property was not completed, an on-site brush inspection will be conducted to determine and confirm if brush hazard violations exist prior to recording a failed initial inspection of the property. Additionally, an inspector may ask for a reflight to focus on specific potential problem areas. The drones will never replace an inspector, will never replace a pilot in a cockpit, but they're a force multiplier. They add to the efficiency, the effectiveness, and the safety of any operation that we engage in. 